guys, this is Julia, and today in this video, I'm going to show you a hidden dark mode on Windows 10, in which I'm going to show you how to enable it. So, I think it's really cool, is what it does is basically in like your apps, like settings here, which is not on the dark mode yet, because I've not enabled it yet, because I'm going to show you guys how to do it, but it makes all your apps dark. Instead of being light like this and being white and gray, it'll make them all black which looks really awesome. So first we are going to right click the start menu, go to run, and type in regedit for the registry editor because we need to go in the registry for this. And before you do this, I recommend that you make a registry backup because just in case something goes wrong, which I doubt it, anything will go wrong, but it's always good before you mess up the registry to make a registry backup. So make sure computer's highlighted, hit file, click export and then you are going to type in whatever see I already made one right here for reg backup that's what I named it you can name it whatever you want but I'm not gonna make another one since I just made one because I did this video earlier and it got messed up due to my screen recorder so basically just make a backup hit save it'll only take a minute and then afterwards it should be done another thing you could do as another backup precaution is you could make a restore point which is what you do is you would right click this PC, click properties, and then you'd go to system protection here, and then you'd click create, and then you can name the restore point whatever. You can name it like before registry changes or before the dark mode or whatever you want to call it. So that's just another thing you could do. So to add this dark mode, we're going to go to HK Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, and you're going to go to Windows, Current Version, and you're going to find Themes. When you're there, you need to right click this Themes and click New and click Key. And you need to type Personalize. After you do that, you need to right click in here, click New, and click D Word Value, and type just like this apps use light theme and it is case sensitive so you need to type it exactly how it looks here and make sure the value is zero so the value is zero okay so then after you do that there's one more you have to add so I'm just gonna do this I'm gonna go all the way back up just undo all those there go to H key current user and the same places before software, Microsoft, um, you're gonna Windows, current version, find themes again. But this time, you should have a personalize already. When you're gonna highlight personalize, go in here, right click, new D word value again, and type the same thing. Make sure it's zero. Then, we should be done with the registry and we should be able to open up the settings or whatever any windows app and it should be dark themed so yeah, as you can see I just opened settings and it's now dark all the menus are dark it's really cool so yeah pretty much so you can see it's all dark mode, and even if I open like another app, say let's open Calculator, it's also dark. Let's say I open Calendar, it's also dark. And even your own apps you download, like I'm going to open Twitter, it's even dark themed, which this is my Twitter if you want to look at it. But it's even dark themed, which is really cool. So... I think it's really amazing. It makes every Windows app dark themed. Now that it doesn't go for like the control panel, say, it's still gonna be light because it's um it's not an actual app. It's like the actual Windows apps, which I don't have that many Windows apps because I uninstalled a lot of them. Which you actually can uninstall them in CCleaner in the uninstall part of CCleaner, which is really cool if you guys wanted to know that. So basically. 
you know, that's how you enable the dark theme, which I don't think it does it in Edge, because Edge has a dark theme in the settings. So saying you want to match it in Edge, now it's dark themed. So it doesn't do it for Edge unless you go in the settings on Edge and add the dark theme. So basically, that is how you add the dark theme. Now if you want to undo it, you actually could go back into registry and set those values for apps use light theme to 1 and it will make it back to light theme. Or you could just delete the registry keys, but it would just be easier just to change the value. Or if you had the registry back up, you could just do that or the restore, but to be honest, it's much easier to be able just to go in the registry again and change it back. Because that's what I would do. So, basically, um, that's how you do that, which I had to do this video like five times um, due to making mistakes, but first time I did it, I did it so good, and then I found out that my screen recorder OBS lost all of its recording settings. Not sure how that happened. If you guys know how my OBS lost all its settings, please let me know. Because I actually did make a video, which I've not uploaded yet. I'm still working on that. Um, so, it basically, I recorded the video, and I found out it was in the wrong video format. And I checked OBS, and sure enough, all the settings in OBS were all wiped out completely. So I had to re-add the settings and redo the video. Which is really strange that that happened. But, guys, any any ideas on how that happened, let me know. Because that's the first time that's ever happened to me. I, I doubt it'll happen again. But, anyways, hope you guys enjoy the dark theme. Hope it's really cool. Thanks for watching this video. And, bye-bye for now.